I've recently made a video about using gouache in urban sketching, but do you know there are a lot of other mediums that you can use for urban sketching? So you have a lot of ideas for your upcoming travel. And each medium has its own video, so check the description under this one to see what is released. Alcohol markers are a great medium for urban sketching and you can have a bunch of different color range. And funny enough, if you have a skin tone set, this is the one that will work the best for buildings. The colors are very light and you can get very interesting things. The main problem with alcohol markers is that it will bleed through your paper if you add a lot of juice to your paper. So be prepared to have ugly pages on the left side. So you may not like that. And I personally don't like that too much. Alcohol markers are really cool. They have strong contrast. And this is with a very limited color palette. There is only six colors made. And you can achieve bleeding effects as well. As well. And add details with a brush, with a pen on top. With the same principle of doing a light sketch with the 0.1, you can make your sketch on location with a very fine nib. And then you can add color with watercolor. This one was made with a fountain pen with a carbon ink inside. It is a waterproof ink and this one is brown actually so it makes something that is lighter than completely black. And then you add your watercolor and you can go back with some details either with your fountain paint or a pen. With watercolor, you can go as crazy as you want. You don't have to be really consistent with the true colors. You can go with pink and orangey. And you can also be a bit crazy. And I kind of like it. I think it's fun. Same here. Really blotchy colors and fountain pen on top. Another fun tool that I use is this ink brush. This one is by Sennelier, but you have a ton of brands available. And the color is um, Payne's Gray. So it's kind of a bluish tone, gray bluish. It's really fun to use, especially if you have um, textured paper like this one. So I made the watercolor first and I added details with the brush pen. So it's a bit rough, a bit large, but I think it's really a fun way to add details. And still with the ink brush, this one is watercolor first, very rough with the main shapes and then the details on top with this ink brush, which is really cool. You can get very strong, very strong colors and very strong details and shadow. Wait a minute, are you learning something in this video? Do you think it's useful somehow? If yes, please put the like button so it helps the video to spread across YouTube. Thank you, merci. What you can do with the ink brush also is to place some random brush strokes in the background. These are left over from a painting I did with acrylic. And it's really rough, no ID, no really nothing in mind when I was placing the brush strokes. And then on top of it, you can add the details with the brush. And it's kind of cool to do because you have to think about where to place your drawing. What, how will be the composition? Will you use the color as an accent in a specific part of the drawing or just as a random thing? And I kind of like this technique. It's fun and easy to carry with you because all you need to do is prepare your pages ahead of your travel. And then all you need to carry is your sketchbook and your inkbrush. 
And as you see, I'm not drawing, sketching before, I'm just going straight ahead with the brush. And it's really one of my favorite techniques. And same than alcohol markers, you can use brush pens. Those ones are the Tombow markers. They have a um, brush side and a fine side. So you can use it to go wide. You see, it's a bit blurry, a bit not what I like, but you can go this way. And also, this one is made with brush pen. It's the same principle than with watercolor or with alcohol marker. I go directly with the color without any prior sketch and I give the main shapes. And then I add details on top and giving the dimension of it with my fountain pen. And then I'm looking closely at the details and adding dimension with my fountain pen. Another fun tool is water soluble crayons, and I mean the Carondash Neocolor 2, because you have the best of both worlds. You have the rough texture of the crayon, but you can also dilute it with your water brush. And you can achieve very interesting textures. It depends a lot of the paper you are using. Um, the sketchbook I'm using here is a Moleskin watercolor paper and this one has a rough side and a soft side. This is a rough one and it's very, very rough. So you will need to press quite hard to fill all the bumps and the gaps in the paper. And this is really cool because you don't need to carry a lot of crayons with you because it's just like everything. If you have the primary colors, you can make your own mixes by overlapping different colors and adding water on top of it. It makes kind of a rough style, so not everyone will like it, but it can be really a fun tool to have when you are on location. And once everything is dry, you can still add detail on top with a brush or a pen, but beware because you can get clogged in the wax on the paper. So I'm using my Sennelier ink brush, which is very cool because there is no nib, just hair, so it doesn't get clogged by the wax. So tell me, what are you using for urban sketching? Are you using something else that what I've just shown you? Let me know in comments. Watercolor pencils are great for urban sketching. I love using them. The one I have are the ink tents. And what is very important is to make swatches because the color of the lead and the color of the paint on the end of the pencil has almost nothing to see with the actual color that you will blend with water. So make a swatch. And if you are going on location, you can swatch inside your sketchbook. It's kind of handy to do. And I like to make the initial sketch with a water soluble pencil because it will blend, it will bleed inside the rest of the color. And it's kind of interesting. So choose wisely in the color you are using for the sketch. And then you will have to control how hard you are pressing on the paper to add more or less pigment. If you want to get pastel colors, you need to have a very light hand and a ton, a ton of water. And this is really cool because as with the crayons, it depends on the texture of your paper. You can leave rough marks or you can blend everything with water. And at the very end, you can add a sharp pencil to add all the details. And it gives a very soft, nice look. I love using them. And of course, there is gouache. I recently did a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use gouache with urban sketching that I link under the video, but it's not the only way to use gouache for urban sketching. You can also spray water on the paper and add diluted gouache on top of it, and it will kind of bleed the colors into each other, almost like watercolor, but with a more opaque feel to it. 
though you can achieve opaque skies and still leave some white parts for the sky. And then you can add details on top with my favorite pen that works so well on gouache painting. So here you are, seven different mediums to use for urban sketching. And we have a series of videos coming with each medium detailed and showing you what you can achieve with it with the pros and cons. So check out the description of the video to know more. And meanwhile, watch this one. Thanks for watching.